is Mac Jones, Alabama. Yeah. That's the one I really say of all the quarterbacks that has benefited the most from having a complete, you know, team around him. It's Mac Jones. You know, he's got NFL receivers, NFL, you know, offensive linemen. I mean, he's just got everything around him. Who would not do well, you know, in, in that system? You know, I could probably go in and quarterback in that system and, and put up numbers similar to his. He didn't have terribly, you know, impressive numbers. They weren't horrible, but they weren't, there was nothing about it that jumped out. You know, if, you, if you're going to go in and be in that system, you, you need to rise above it and, and mm-hmm. make yourself special. You know, if, if you're going to convince me that you're a starting NFL co- you know, quarterback, then be better than all those guys. And he wasn't better. He, he was a game manager type quarterback. Um, you know, he's a guy that he's going to be a great backup. Yeah. He's going to be come in. And if your quarterback goes down and you need a guy to win, you know, three out of four games, he, he's probably good enough for that. But once NFL defensive coordinators kind of catch up to him, he'll start losing games. He, he won't be successful. Um, so he, he's a guy that fourth round, maybe third round at top, if you really needed a solid backup. Yeah. Yeah. Fifth. Yeah. More like a fifth rounder. Yeah. And, and when I make these projections, these aren't, these aren't where I actually see these guys going. These are where I would take these guys. Yeah. We all know that, you know, some fool out there is going to take Trey Lance and, you know, maybe the middle to the back half of the first round. God help them if they do, but it's probably going to happen. Justin Fields is almost certainly going to go in the first round. He shouldn't, but he almost certainly will. So, Because of fear. And here's the thinking. Some GM is going to be like, oh, my God, if I pass on this guy and he's the next Mahomes, I'm fired. But really what's going to happen is you're going to draft him and get fired because you, t- you picked the wrong guy. Sorry. We tried to help. Right. right. I mean, look, look, look how Titter Titter Twitter blew up you know, with, with all the responses to Justin Fields, you know, single game in the Pro Bowl. And we, you know, we, we pass it off and say, oh, these are just media guys. These are just media guys. But was it, uh, who's our general manager? He's a media guy. You know, the guys that are running teams are ex-media guys. These, these guys that are going crazy on Twitter could one day be drafting players for a team. Mike Mayock. So if, if these are the same guys, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, God knows, you know, yeah, the Mel Kuypers of the world is going to end up being the general manager one day and the NFL is just going to go down the drain. But so, yeah, I mean, th- those players are going to get drafted much higher than, than they should, um, you know, for, for big single games like that. And it's a shame. It, it kind of holds the league back. But, yeah. um, you know, I, ideally what I would love to see the 49ers do right now is bring in a guy like um, um, who, the, uh, Andy Dalton and draft – uh, you know, Kyle Trask at the back of the first round. You have, you know, Trask hold the clipboard for, you know, maybe the first 10 games of this, you know, upcoming year. Uh, and then you hand it over. I like that. Um, the one guy I was thinking about as the bridge would be Cam, but he stinks, doesn't he? And Andy no, Dalton is just the worst. Cheap. He's yeah. so bad. He's so bad. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he's just as cheap, but at least Andy Dalton is a proficient pocket guy. He's someone that, you know, Trask can come in and actually watch it and maybe actually learn something from. But I mean, I would never want any of my rookie quarterbacks trying to learn something from Cam Newton. I'm with you. I'm sold. Okay. Especially, Final question. Especially how to dress. <laughs> Final question. Is there a sleeper quarterback in this draft that you're interested in, or have you focused mostly on the top six? It's it's a pretty sharp drop off this year once you get past, you know, the top three. And I've kind of got the top five as, you know, Lawrence, Trask, Wilson, um, Fields, and then Jones, just, okay. just because you have to just throw a name in there more than anything. Um, if I was really going to pick a, a, a sleeper, and this is just a true, you know, diamond in the rough, you know, taking a shot on, I, I would say Costello, um, the kid that transferred out of Stanford. You know, w- when you look at I like the makeup of, you know, of your Stanford quarterback. Obviously, you've got a smart kid. Um, I didn't see I didn't, I got to look into, you know, the, I, to exactly why he transferred out, what the story behind all of that was. But yes. he, was, he was successful. He was, he was a productive quarterback. Um, and he's kind of sitting there, and this is a guy that's going to be an undrafted free agent. You can get him for nothing. You can sign him, let him sit on a practice squad for a couple of years, and maybe he turns into a really solid backup one day. Um, this is not, you know, we don't, this is not a draft where that you know, diamond in the rough that's, you know, considered a fifth or sixth rounder is going to you know, jump into your first round. That just doesn't exist this year. 
Let me ask you about two more seniors who are going to be at the Senior Bowl who I've watched very little of, um, but I've heard about. Kellen Mond and Jamie Newman, athletes. Yeah. Are they worth Kel- it? Yeah. Kellen Mond, I've, I've kind of looked at. I wish there was more from him, you know, production-wise, a little bit, you know, more to watch from him. Um, yeah, I think he's a, a quality backup type guy. You could actually draft him, you know, spend a fourth, fifth round on him and not feel too terrible about that. Mm-hmm. Um, this is not a guy that's going to be a, a starter in the NFL. This is a guy that you can count on to win. You know, if you have four games that you're going to be without your starter, you can win two or three of them for you. Yeah. Uh, and that's really all you need from your backup in the NFL. Yeah. Um, there's nothing to be excited about the guy, but yeah, he could be a potential, a good backup. 